Stanford University. This show, the spirit of this show is we want to to reinvigorate Silicon Valley as the hub of robotics. We have an end effector, a Barrett hand. Um, it's a robotic hand, so it uh, simulates what a human hand, how a human hand would pick up an object. So he's he's basically doing what a human can do. So they can move like a human, they can grab like a human, and they can sense things like a human. So there's um, the Stanford uh, Artificial Intelligence Lab. Behind you is our aut autonomous vehicle that was built here at Stanford. 400,000 retail, but if you uh, contribute a lot to the open source community, then it only costs you $280,000. Uh, we're very excited to see so many kids here, and this is the second year that we've had a lot of a lot of kids come by. It's a Neato XV11, where we took out the dustbin and replaced it with a beagle board. The beagle board runs subsumption architecture, control architecture. And subsumption architecture is a control architecture made up of behaviors. The, the homebrew robotics uh, folks who make robots on their own, and we gave them a particular area so they could go and show off their wares, which are extremely popular. Everybody loves them. There's no reason why you couldn't be a receptionist for several small companies from home uh, with a robot. Uh, <laughs> I think that's going to be an important component of robotics going forward is the idea that, look, we build an open platform and other people, the users themselves, third parties, create the really interesting uses of it. Yeah, no, yeah, we're in line here, okay? Uh, you're, you're, he's in line, I'm sorry, we, have him, we have this guy, and then you, and then you. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.